Hello, everybody. It is September 11th, uh, 2022, and we are in uh, Elmhurst, Illinois, and we are currently attending Vintage Computer Festival Midwest uh, 2022. So uh, right here, I've got my um, SL2000 uh, portable Betamax, and I've got my Sony HTC 2800 um, SATA uh, tube camera, and uh, we're going to go around and film the um, show on this uh, 1982 yeah. camera. So we're going on to Betamax, and this camera is from 1982. It's been featured on my channel before. And I'd also like to say I'm uh, doing a collaboration with Dave's Retro Video Lab. So it's going here. And uh, I'll show you everything in the conference center in Elmhurst. Hi. This is the stuff that they've got for sale here. We've got some old computers here. A lot of uh, old stuff. Some Apple stuff. Uh, and everything like that. Uh, over here, we've got some more stuff for sale. And then, um, Yeah, I'm doing this on the second day because um, the first day, the first day, um, there were so many people here that I couldn't really use this because I'd be bumping into people left and right. So that's what I decided to do. Uh, there's Dave and our setup here. We've got a bunch of old cameras and whatnot here, but they're doing a skit right now, so I'm assuming they're filming some other stuff. Hopefully the audio comes out okay. So there's more stuff for sale. And then uh, over here we've got um, over here they've got a bunch of old PC games. Just the old like retro games and stuff like that for the PC. It's very interesting. Here we have a Macintosh classic. And uh, some other stuff here. Are you taking a picture of me? I am indeed, thank you. Yep. I'm, I'm piloted to the lab. Oh, fantastic. Yep, I'm working with Dave's Retro Video Lab, and uh, this is going up on YouTube. Fantastic. Yep, thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. so in here we have the conference room here. This was the conference room where, uh, yeah, the lighting is kind of going to be pretty terrible here, but this is where the APIC guy and LGR and a bunch of other YouTubers, they got together and they went and they sat right there. So, um, it's kind of dark right now. I'm just going to get out of here because I don't know if like, they're going to yell at me for being in here, but um, there, there's a schedule right there, but you can't see it on the camera. So we got more desktops for sale. And, uh, and there's a lot of interesting stuff here, which I'll show you. Right here, we've got a bunch of uh, a bunch of VIC-20 boxes. If you've watched my channel, you might know that I have a VIC-20 in the in the original box, um, like that. So yeah, I've got some old stuff here. This looks pretty cool. Cute mate, computer keyboard for Atari, VCS, and Sears Video Arcade. Yep, so there. Selling a lot of stuff. And uh, here is one of the rooms. There's going to be a lot of people over there with $30, so. There's going to be a lot of people in here. So hopefully I can have any get good audio. The playing about low light is kind of odd. Let me just check the white balance on this. So you point it up at the light, and you do this.
this thing, which I thought was funny, the Stooge Matic. Is it on? Old episodes of the show, which uh, you watch that show on ETV all the time. Is it? If it's not turned on, press the pink foot it's switch. It's on. No, the, the Stooge. Push the pink foot switch. Oh yeah, the pink foot switch. Okay. Oh cool. Yeah, it shows up a. Uh, shows a test screen. Yeah. That's cool. So over there you can see there's an LGR. I don't think it's here there, but there's also a computer plant. And over there is the AI guy. I saw him yesterday and I got to get some photos of him, which is good. Um, so yeah, I'm filming here. There's some old computers here. Right here there's an old computer running out of Old Cosmic Collection 2, which is one of my favorite retro games. Somebody's building a, uh, uh, what's that, a tram or something. And you see all the, all the, all the lines. And then the uh, arrowhead flash now. It's pretty cool. I, always, I, I spent hours on that game. This game is probably one of the greatest games that I ever made. But I would guess probably the the 80s. Yeah, um, yeah is it, is it, it's completely solid state, or is it solid state, or is that vacuum tubes? No, yeah, it's completely solid state. It's, it's just okay. a little yeah, monitor out of service. Yeah, yeah, look at that old soldering iron. Iron. No, they still make those. They oh, still really? make those exactly like that. Yeah, I got I got a Weller one that's blue, and it's a pretty good one I got for free. Right here. They got all these phones right here. I think this is like a, like a phone demonstration, like how like a, like a phone station would work. They've got a bunch of old phones here. You know, the ones where you had to like uh, rotate it and then the modern ones with the keypad. I keep going into macro mode. Whenever I do this, it's going into macro mode. Which is, uh, yeah, so here we've got the Macintosh Plus. Is that the number And uh, then they've got a PowerBook 180 here, which I'm uh, going to focus there. And uh, that actually, if you go online, as you can see, it's got Netscape, and it's online. And it's, it's hooked up to the internet. And this is uh, a Oregon Trail on a, uh, this is, I don't know what model of map that is, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of people here. Um, Zoom into the screen on this. It's pretty nice how it, uh, you know, I can zoom all the way in. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but that's that. But they had something that was really interesting. I'm trying to find it. They had kind of like a, uh, a pop, like a replica of the DeLorean the time machine. And I'm trying to, oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, that's all good. Right. Just packing up the paper tape. So that's the thing from the movie Back to the Future, the time travel machine, and the DeLorean. And actually, there's the movie right there playing on the TV. I'm not sure what scene that is, but it's, uh, I got it on DVD playing on a little, uh, on a little CRT there, which is cool. So yeah, some some of the uh, electro stuff they use modern uh, LCD displays or plasma or whatever they're called. 
put on the CRT, you know, like a few uh, DVMs and stuff. Yeah. The last right here is kind of like a, uh, a mock television station. And you can do stuff, it's kind of like a television simulation. And um, one of the cool things you can do is that you can actually set up like an emergency alert and it will go on all the TVs. So this is like the central control area with all the uh, modulators. Uh, these, these are all... These are all like channels, they're all RF modulators, and they're all going into these uh, monitors here. So, um, like this is like the weather channel, but it's like, it's just like, it's not actually, you know, it's, it's, it's recording, but it's kind of like a simulated TV thing. And um, using this phone right here, you can actually dial in like a, an emergency alert. I think, let me see if I can get a demonstration on it. Um, I don't see the guy that was doing it, so... Yeah. Here's some other stuff here. And, uh, a lot of stuff is for sale. Yeah, it's a, it's a Betamax uh, SL2000. Oh, wow, I've never seen one of those in motion before. And the camera is an HTC 2800. Oh, perfect. Yeah, also, it's uh, really heavy. Up. This is the, before they had camcorders, this is what you had. Yeah, the silver camera models. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt if you were doing about No, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, I like that interaction. Don't Thanks, worry. Man. Have a good one. Yeah. There's a lot of interesting stuff here. Old speakers, you know. And a lot of stuff here you're selling. You can see the sign says, you at the uh, welcome to BCS Midwest 10 a.m. So this is what they call the free pile right here. They've got a bunch of old just junk and stuff. I pulled out like a thing of headphones and a uh, and a book. Yeah, they've got some stuff like they've got like they've got a few monitors and stuff like that, you know, computer monitors and uh, yeah, just free stuff that you can like um, that you can like um, pick up. Like this is completely free. This is an FM receiver. That's a CD player down there. Um, so there's some other stuff here. Just, some of this is like junk, like these are old old computers place, but I did pick up some. Use I picked, I picked up an old laptop of a busted screen from here. Uh, you see all these cables and stuff. I haven't gone through that box yet. I haven't gone through this box yet. I'll have to go see what's in there. Yeah, it's just like the free pile. And here's the, uh, here's the thing for that. <laughs> Let's get this to uh, white balance. I think what you're supposed to do with this thing, uh, I'm looking through the viewfinder right now. I think you're supposed to have, there's, there's a white line, and I think you've got to have it in the middle of the screen, and that lets you know that your white balance is uh, correct. So the black and white, it doesn't, since it's a black and white viewfinder, I can't, I, there's no color. So yeah. Um, you know, there's some more junk here. You've got a, a nice Dell monitor over here. I might have put this one up. I'm not sure which, which model that is, but I already have a uh, Dell UltraSharp monitor that I use as a secondary monitor, so I don't really need that. Um, they've, got an, they've got an old Sony uh, Trinitron TV there. Nice. And there's another, there's another uh, Apple. But I don't think that's part of the free pile. <laughs> And you can sell it, they're selling stuff here. Now, a, lot, a lot of the stuff is for sale, and I spent I spent some stuff here. I bought a laptop, like I said. I also bought a thing from the Ape guy. And uh, it was just a really fun experience. Uh, and, uh, just going through here and everything. Um, as you can see, some people are starting to leave. You know, because you know, yesterday was the first day, and that was the busiest day. But now it's Sunday, and you know, everything's kind of like, you know, Slowing down. There's a Samsung and a VCR right there. There's cheap Samsung. Some other stuff over here. I can get all mentioned and stuff. Mm -hmm. Pick one of those. I guess. Yeah. So they got a bunch of stuff for sale. 
I really can't bring a lot of stuff home because we took the car, we took like a really, we took our uh, old F-150 and it was like causing room in there for our stuff. So we had to bring, of course, clothes and stuff like that for the hotel. But um, yeah, you can see here, there's some other computers that they've got here. Um, and, uh, again, some of the, like, these aren't for sale, but then there's other ones that are for sale. really old um, console, like one of the first consoles like ever, first computer, one of like the first like home computer, like home video game consoles ever. And I forget what you're supposed to do. It kind of looks like Pawn to me, but I'm not sure. There's the uh, two things. That you, you adjust these and it kind of, uh, can't really do it on camera. But. Yeah. Magbox, authorized service, a nice clock. Yeah. Try to get the last. Nice uh, Windows 98 laptop. Or it's running, probably running Windows. Um, Windows. I think it's running Windows 2000. Actually. And then that's some other stuff here. Control delete doesn't even work, so. This one, this one? This one? This one, yeah. yeah. This one is, is, has been freezing and like, you know, it's cool. Yeah, they've got the old oscilloscope. Yeah, and I just have to say, it's, it's been really fun being here. And, you know, uh, there is an Atari 2600, which I have one of those, too. I have one of those too. All right. Very okay. cool. Thank you. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> you know that, that that was my favorite game. This was my favorite game. I love this game. It's a yeah, classic. It's, it's a great game, especially when you can kill people in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not good for your park rating. Yep, you, it's not uh, good for your park rating at all. But yeah, I love the Six Flags one. Oh, I don't think I've ever played the Six Flags. Yeah. I spent countless hours on that game. They even have a classic one, a classic version for the mobile. Oh, do they? You can play on your phone. Oh, I did not know that either. Yeah, it's a Google Play app. I played a lot of this and a lot of Zoo Tycoon. Yeah, <laughs> Zoo Tycoon. I've never played Zoo Tycoon. I've tried playing City Skylines, though. That's a more modern game, though. Not really retro. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones.
Yeah, I got, I got a picture of the Epic guy, so Did you have a big project? I'm pretty sure about that. I still got to get a picture with LGR. I don't know where he is right now. That's him. Oh, I don't know if that's him. I can't tell. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that file. Um, I got to go outside for a moment. I feel like I'm getting really hot during this one around. sweating. A lot of the... Uh, Stop for now and then come back in a bit, I guess. I've shown a lot. There's another big 20 box. There's another big 20 box. Yeah, you know, they have some cool stuff like, here. Here, kid, here's a bunch of capacitors. Have fun, right? It's like there's got to be more. I wasn't really interested in the uh, vintage computers. I was more interested in uh, working with uh, Dave's retro video lab. So they're doing a skit right now. Yeah, I don't like that. Like for the show, they're filming a skit. So I'm gonna just stop recording for now. Like this thing is already starting to give me a backache. <laughs> okay, so I'm outside of the building again. As you can see, it's still raining a lot. Like before, it was like pouring at the hotel earlier, but um, now it's a little bit better. So this is the uh, Claren Inn in Elmhurst, and it's the, uh, they got the convention center in here at the hotel. The hotel, I think it's completely booked. Like everybody stayed there, so we had to go to a different hotel about a mile south from here in Oak Brook. But yeah, here's some of the shots of that. I just like how this lens, this lens is pretty good. Um, hopefully the sound turns out okay. I was planning on filming like a whole vlog with my new Sony camera, but you know, uh, Dave and his crew, they're making a video, so it's going to be a lot better. I'm just filming here because, you know, I don't want to get in their way or anything like that. So, um, ah, I don't know why, but these things can always go into, I always got to be careful when you zoom out because you can zoom into the macro mode. I'm trying to get a, a good picture on the viewfinder. So I can tell if the, uh, the shot is in focus. This one doesn't have autofocus, it's just manual. There's a, there was a next model up, the HTC 2500, that had the uh, autofocus. I forget how good it was. Yeah, there's just some people coming in. There's not a lot of uh, people here today, like I said. Probably because it's, you know, it's pretty bad weather right now, but. Um, it's also, you know, the second day. Most people, I guess, packed up and went home. We're staying here till like 2.30 and then we're going home today. So, yeah.